Hi guys and welcome again. This is Car Story and Car Story is where we give you the real car stories. And today is a good day. We have a BMW X1. Yeah? A BMW X1, this is a 2015 model and it is 2.0 petrol uh, engine. And the evolution of this car, this car started uh, being designed in 2006 where it was launched in 2008 and 2009 the sales uh, started going out now this car was a development from the e90 uh, 3 series this is where the x1 uh, started that is where the development of x1 began and the x1 model is the smallest SUV that has ever been produced by BMW and over time BMW is known for uh, innovating new models of cars but the X1 came uh, actually after the X3 and so it came as a, a smaller SUV compared to uh, X3. Now the introduction of BMW X1 was as a result of uh, the cost, uh, at least the BMW wanted to provide a smaller car that is uh, uh, cost friendly and as well gives you the comfort and the reliability that you want. And that uh, in line comes with uh, the first generation came as a, a rear wheel drive and then as the second the first generation the second generation was improved to an all-wheel drive where for the the case of this car it is um it is a a, a rear wheel drive and you have an option of having an all-wheel drive where the rear wheel drive is s drive and the all-wheel drive is, is the x drive yeah and now as you can see it looks perfectly well it looks perfectly good it's good for presentation and when we go to the inside also it has the comfort that you need as a, a bmw owner of course bmw is known for comfort uh, is known for uh, performance and all that you see the car itself looks uh, massively well it looks nice uh, for this particular one it is in white which is uh, not a very good color for me I, I don't love cars in white you know, maybe because I am a man but that's okay this is how the car looks at the front uh, part of the car of course we have the uh, xenon lights and LED lights and we have the headlight washers we have the fog lights and then we have this this spoiler that completes the look of uh, BMW X1. Now, the BMW X1 came at a point where uh, the older shapes or the older look of the BMW was being uh, modified. That is why you can see the second generation came with a facelift that uh, makes it look better than actually the first generation. And this being the second generation of course so much has been improved because uh, the first generation could uh, could have been a trial but of course the second generation comes as a as an improvement of course of the first generation and then of course we have a third generation that uh, is a more improved version because the second generation goes up to 2015 so from 2016 we have the third generation that is a more improved version of the BMW X1 and now we can get to see what we have on the inside of uh, this car so the comfort of the car is uh, something to to be excited about it is very comfortable and uh, the spacing of the car the especially um, uh, bearing in mind it is a good family car it was the the, the manufacturers had in mind the family uh, of, a, of a family car and of course as we know SUVs are when when the SUVs are, are made 
there are so many things that are put into consideration. For example, the reliability, performance, and of course, uh, how the car, who will be using the car. And for this case, we see a car that has been made to accommodate the family setup. And of course, uh, give the comfortability and the reliability that is needed to come with the car. And the accessibility of the car, especially uh, for the driver, is very well catered for. We have the steering controls um, where you are able to control some of the functions. I didn't want to have it on. Some of the functions on your car. As you travel, you can connect your Bluetooth, you can uh, control your, 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 your stereo system. Yeah, and of course, looking at some of the compartments that we have on the car, on, uh, at the, right at the door we have these uh, places where you can fix your stuff. We have this space also where you can have your stuff. There's a space inside here where, where someone can have uh, maybe a cup and uh, here also this is maybe for the driver uh, not maybe this is for the driver and the co-driver do you have a space here maybe where you can have your your key yeah uh, there is also a space here where you can have your documents and of course the other door has uh, uh, other compartments and now the finishing of the car also is something to be uh, uh, excited about uh, it makes the car the inside of the car look very good and of course it the finishing also complements the interior of the car and uh, that is um, the, the 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 material like for example the red for example for this particular model for this particular car you see the this is maroon for maroon the maroon finish here and also on the seat that makes the car look very very beautiful now uh this car comes with the uh, 240 horsepower so uh for a 2.0 uh, uh petrol engine comes with a fuel efficiency of 8.9 uh liters to 11.2 liters per 100 kilometers yeah so that is uh, a good fuel efficiency and then it comes with also a, a four cylinder inline yeah and also it's a eight speed it's eight automatic uh, shiftable speed i mean what kind of power yeah and that's why i am personally i am always in love with the uh, uh, BMW and the stereo system of the car is as great and of course the improvement there is a time I reviewed a 2005 uh, BMW X5 and uh, you would feel the stereo system was still perfect so you can imagine the stereo system now of uh, um, a 2015 model and of course going forward maybe a 2002 model how it feels because the good thing with the uh, with the car market is that there's an improvement every now and then and now we talk about um the safety of the car first of all uh we talked of 260 pounds of torque and then the car is fitted with um airbags to make sure that the person that he, that is inside is uh, is safe when you're driving the car and like the front part of the car we have six airbags fitted with six airbags and that gives you enough um uh safe, safety when you're driving the car so the car is at 260 kilometers per hour uh, that is the gauge uh, of the car and of course it comes with a keyless entry and the car is a sport uh, comes with a sport mode yeah comes with a, a sport mode yeah and that's it for the pro, uh, for the front part of the car and now we move to the back seat and see what we have So 
the back seat of the car complements the SUV, the mini, uh, the, the mini SUV. The back seat of the car complements the subcompact uh, crossover uh, SUV, which this BMW is, and it gives you enough space. Uh, it, the legroom and the headroom are perfect. You have uh, enough space for, 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 for you to enjoy the drive. And of course, you have also several spaces where you can have your space as a passenger. You have this space here, which um, most of the times the net space uh, is not very practical for me because you cannot have everything you would want to have there. And then you have this, this space here. You can have your, your cup, uh, your bottle of juice, of water maybe and of course the space is uh, sufficient for you to enjoy the the drive and as i, I had said the the uh, seats are made of a fine cloth that is uh, blended with uh, with, uh, with with a gray and a maroon maroon uh, fabric that makes the car look very good and the finishing of the car looks very very nice yeah and uh, that's it for the back seat I, of, of course before we finish you can see we have a space for your charger at the back seat here you can have your you, you can have your phone to charge so you do not have to compete with the driver and the co driver yeah, and now we check what we have in the boot, or rather the trunk. So the space in the trunk is very practical, bearing in mind we are talking of a family car. It is very, very practical. And... Uh, you, you have more space here and of course this is a space where you have your 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 battery you in uh, uh, mind you the battery of a bmw is in the trunk yeah so this is a space you can have your spare spare parts and of course uh, the practicability of the boot you can see is very practical so the car comes with a wheelbase of uh, 17 inch and of course as you have seen it is a five seater yeah it is a five seater and so as you have had the functions of the car and what you have on the car it's a really nice car so you want to feel how the car drives on the road So the car feels really comfortable on road and the handling of the car also is quite something. It's handling very well. And also the picking of the car. And as I said of uh, the improvement of the BMW, the previous models, uh, the ease to drive is, is not as efficient. Uh, for example, for the models that came before 2009, uh, the ease to drive is not as good. But this car feels really nice. The ease, it is very easy to drive it. And something that is uh, very interesting or very good with the BMW, it has so many sensors just to help you when you're driving. And so it reduces the chances of you uh, causing accidents. Because if you go too close to a car, of course the car will warn you. If you are at speed that uh, the car feels is not very manageable you will be warned so the, the 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 sensors the sensing systems of the car are very good and for me i think it's a it's a really good improvement to help you drive safely and uh, not go damaging your car 
So the engine of the car is a uh, 16 valve and that gives you what you require in terms of power. And this car is available at Urban Drive. The cost of the car is 2.25M. Uh, that is on cash. That is when you are buying the car on cash. If you want a, ban a bank financing, you can arrange with your bank and then you have the car. Of course, people talk about the maintenance of uh, BMW. The maintenance of uh, BMW is a bit high. Uh, that one maybe we'll handle in our topics where we will be handling uh, a car at a time and we'll be able to give you the estimated cost of um, um, the maintenance. But the maintenance, as high as it is, it gives you what you need in a car. It gives you, it, it gives you what you want in a car. And of course, as people say, the spare parts are expensive. Yes, they're expensive, but they are durable. And also, if you... If you live with a BMW well, of course it will serve you well. And that's it for today. And today we have been at Urban Drive as always. And Urban Drive is on Kiambu Road, just where the bypass intersects with Kiambu Road. Less than 100 meters uh, on your left as you are going to, to Ruaka. And that's it for today. And thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. And thank you for the support. Thank you for always commenting and telling us where to improve. And we look up to you for any improvement. Thank you so much. Shalom.